Hi everyone, my name is Mark Sanders. I'm a solution architect with Venify. And today we're going to do a high level and very brief um, discussion around certificate revocation lists. Let's look at a diagram real quick to get a good idea of how that works. All right, so if we think about the certificates and how they get issued, you know, the application owner or the, the web server owner or the corporation or organization requests a certificate from the certificate authority. That certificate is signed and issued, and then that certificate is then installed on this web server. So when clients connect to the web server, they know that it's authentic, they know who they're talking to, and also that traffic is encrypted. Um, that certificate has a born on date. It also has an expiration date. Um, typically that expiration date is a year. Um, but what happens if that certificate has a problem um, before that expiration time comes and we need to get rid of that certificate? Well, I really can't just delete the certificate, right? Because it's been issued. So what I want to do is the application owner will contact the certificate authority and tell them that they want to revoke that certificate. And that's where a certificate revocation list comes in. And so what happens is that certificate authority will update the certificate revocation list with the information about this certificate. So it gets added to this certificate revocation list, which is installed on these CRL locations we won't get into the details of that. And so then the next time this client wants to communicate to the web server, it has downloaded an update to this certificate revocation list. This client will then see that this certificate has been revoked. The client, which is typically the browser or the application, understands this certificate has been revoked. I should not trust this. I should not go to this web server because that certificate was revoked for um, whatever reason. If it was a technical reason or perhaps there was a compromise with the private key, something bad happened and that certificate was added to the CRL to know that it should not be trusted. All right. So in summary, real fast, there's this certificate revocation list. It is a list that contains all of the certificates that were issued by this CA um, that are revoked and should not be trusted. The clients on a periodic basis download the updates to the CRL, which so then they understand what certificates they should not trust because they have been revoked. Um, there's another session that we'll talk about um, OCSP, which is another way of managing the certificate and validating if they're revoked or not. Um, but we'll do that on another session. This was a super duper short session. I'm um, hoping this was useful and uh, thank you very much for your time. Hope you have a great day.